Music really is so powerful in our spirituality. My musical development and my spiritual development really went hand in hand growing up, and still do. When I was in music schools and at Curtis and Juilliard, I was struggling to find my path. I would enter big international violin competitions and not win them, and I would try to get a manager and not get one. I knew I'd been given a musical gift and that Heavenly Father wanted me to share it, but I didn't know how that was going to happen. I spoke to Michael Ballam about just struggling to find my place in this kind of scary musical world, and he said, Jenny, the Lord has a different path for you, and just keep doing what's right and try to prepare yourself to be the best you can be in your field, and he'll open up doors. In my home, I can definitely feel such a difference when we sing the hymns or when my kids perform the hymns on their instruments. And we can be having a wonderful, wonderful family time, but then when we sit down and perform together, there's a different spirit. It's so much more powerful. And I'm so grateful that we bring the hymns into our worship. And I always wondered how I'd ever be a stay-at-home mom and still a performer. My little five-year-old just began the guitar and he is dying to play I'm a child of God with his sisters, and so it, it's just, it's brought our family together and it's helped them feel the spirit um, in a truly profound way. The Lord may not open the door that I'm trying to open for me, but he'll open a different one. And I know it's because it's the Lord's path that he had in store for me. Music is such a huge part of our worship in the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints. I'm grateful that I was given a musical gift, and I'm grateful I've been given opportunities to train and develop and share that gift. And I just, I just feel so grateful to be able to play sacred music that touches my soul and hopefully touches others as well. Thank mm -hmm. you.